news from Jammu and Kashmir and Farooq Abdullah has called an all party opposition meeting a meeting of all opposition parties there to discuss the controversy over the right to vote for non locals in Jammu and Kashmir now the opposition has alleged that this move was amid and at aimed at influencing elections in the union territory with imported voters uh, Jammu and Kashmir's chief electoral officer had said that after the abrogation of 370 non locals working or ordinarily living in a jammu and kashmir can now register as voters and after a revision of electoral rolls over 20 to 25 lakh new voters would then be added to the electoral rolls but then after the controversy that the jammu and kashmir government issued an advertisement in local newspapers and in, in which they claimed uh, that this additional 25 lakh voters that was being uh, talked about as uh, was a misrepresentation of facts uh, spread uh, by uh, vested interest though it was the chief electoral officer who had said that 20 to 25 lakh voters uh, could be added let's go across to nazir now nazir so opposition parties they're meeting over this issue and there's there's also been another issue in which this uh, figure of 25 lakhs it, it's uh, the government saying that it's being spread by vested interest but it was uh, spoken about by the chief electoral officer Yes, exactly. First, the chief electoral officer addressed a press conference, talked about inclusion of new electoral votes where non-locals can register themselves as voters. Uh, yes, there are technicalities, there are requirements, there are needs proof, there are all all the formalities which are required. But it became a major controversy even as the government has to do clarification, talking it, saying it is a misrepresentation of facts and it is being spread by vested interests. so the political parties they see it as a attack on the uh, local population by importing voters and influencing election farooq abdullah called all party meeting in srinagar sajad on address the press conference we know uh, apni party alta bukhari also held a press conference over in muzaffar beg and then bjp is also holding a meeting or of if you see uh, this lot of you know activity in political uh, po- among the political parties in jammu and kashmir uh, some are defending it like the bjp they are saying these people are frustrated that is why they are doing it and you know uh, others uh, po- like pagd farooq abdullah mehwa mufti and all others are saying look why should they get people from outside and vote here we doesn't in- happen in any place other place but technically speaking if any person resident of uh, any part of the country if he is a legitimate voter at his native place he can first delete his vote at his uh, at his native place then if he is working in jammu and kashmir he can do that vote here register himself as a vo- voter but after uh, fulfilling all the formalities it was not possible before abrogation of 370 now people are actually very touchy they have to accept the new re- reality reality is Jammu and Kashmir has lost its special status. Jammu and Kashmir seems to be a union territory. So clearly, you know, you have a, you have new rules, and new rules are being interpreted by different people in different ways. So it has become a huge, huge controversy here in Jammu and Kashmir. Let's see what will happen in the all parties meeting. Let's see what the BJP says. Though we all know the their 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 stance and point of view, but it has become a major controversy following the delimitation. uh exercise which um here the opposition say was gerrymandering to turn demographic majority into a political minority